Number 43. Pure iron metal can be produced by the reduction of iron 3 oxide with hydrogen gas. And then we have letter A. So we need to write the expression for the equilibrium constant, which is Kc, for the reversible reaction, and then we have the reaction here. And they give us the delta H value. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this uh, equation a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it. So in this case, we have Fe2O3, and that's a solid. Right, this is coming together with three H2 gases. And they come to equilibrium. I see this double arrow with two Fe solid and then three H2O gases. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just maybe center this a little bit. Oh, what happened to the top of the F? Let's see. There we go. All right, so in this case, we're just doing letter A. We just need to write the expression for the Kc value. We've done tons of work with this one, guys, right? The Kc equation is this one on the bottom left-hand side. It's a, it's a general equation. It's just basically the concentration of the products divided by all the concentration of the reactants, and then you just have to raise each one of them to the coefficients. But keep in mind that only aqueous and gases are allowed in this expression. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and check out what states I have. But uh-oh, the first state I see is a solid. And only aqueous and gases are allowed. Is this guy going to be in this formula? Yeah, you got it. Absolutely not. So I either exit this out, right, and I just put an X here, or you could slash through the whole thing. I guess... To be dramatic, we're gonna sl <laughs> we're gonna slash through the whole thing, so we don't have to worry about that one. But now H two, that's a gas, so that's going into the Kc. And then, uh oh, let's be dramatic again. This is a solid, so not going in. I don't care. Bye. And then we got a gas, so only the H two and the H two O are going in this Kc expression. Now let's just do the formula. Kc equals something divided by something else, products over reactants. So let's do the products first. The products is this one. Bracket is just the standard notation for concentration, aka molarity. So I'm just going to bracket it and put down H2O. Beautiful. Close the bracket. And now I just got to raise it to its coefficient. I do see that there's a three in front of here, right? So I'm just going to raise it to the third. Now let's just do the same for the H2, I'm going to bracket, right, going down to my reactants, so I'm going to say H2. Close the brackets, look for any coefficients. I see that there's a 3 in front of here, so I'm going to raise the 3. I'll raise the H2 to the 3. Um, just know that you can't simplify this, right, even though it might be a little tempting. Something is cubed and something is cubed, but since they're two totally different, you know, species or, you know, things, H2O versus H2, I can't do anything to... Um, simplify this, and we're done. So this is the KC expression. Pretty cool, guys. Letter A already done. So hang tight. Letter B is coming out in a little bit. So I will see you if you guys are on the playlist. I'll literally see you in like five seconds. All right. But in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind, if you can subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And thank you so much. I'll see you for letter B. Okay. See ya. Bye.